This is Duke University. We, uh, yeah, we, uh, we Umang uh, make is uh, the most important artist in Burma for the Western point of view, not from the point of view of art historian. But, um, yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, you have one, you have two discourse. You have the curators, the art historian, and you have the local population, and why the, the Western art historian will dictate what is really popular or not, or what is cutting edge or not. This is a, a, a conflict I have with my colleagues about that. But, um, uh, but what was commer uh, commercially a success was the, really the strength. It's like Roscoe. If you know Roscoe here, you really don't appreciate a postcard of Roscoe. You see the painting and you are like, because the power of the colors of the very uh, sophisticated, vibrant colors, you have to really experiment that. And so it's the same with the uh, Uimang. He, he has the same kind of vibration, and that's why he became really uh, very famous. And he, he has this technique, but again, when I looked at the past of each artist who were successful, they usually went abroad, brought by some techniques. He went to Japan, brought these techniques, and to Europe. Uh -huh. So you, you always see. What I found interesting in the collection of the Tukuma is the fact they were local artists and they were borrowed from each other. They were meeting at Pensodan galleries. And of course, they were just having this uh, interesting conversation.